Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to talk about securely erasing an old hard drive. So let's get going. Okay, so uh, if you're anything like me, uh, you've got a lot of uh, old tech laying around, uh, whether it be old hard drives, uh, old graphic cards, uh, cords, cables, what, what have you. Uh, but I do have quite a few old hard drives uh, because hard drives, uh, as time has gone by, have uh, become a little cheaper and uh, I've replaced some of my older drives with uh, newer, larger drives uh, and s solid state drives and whatnot. So I have quite a few drives just kind of laying around. So the question is, uh, I just if I don't need it anymore, should I just throw it away? Well, if it's had any of your OSs or any of your data on it in the past, then it's probably a good idea to make sure that the data is erased and unrecoverable. So uh, those two things aren't the same. Uh, if you format uh, a drive, it does not really erase the data. It just uh, tells the computer to treat it as empty space. I just wanted to go through some of the issues that you might encounter uh, when we talk about uh, erasing old hard drives and some of the different uh, tiers as to what you want to accomplish. The first tier is going to be I want to throw away the drive. I don't need the drive anymore and I want to make sure that the data is completely unrecoverable. Now uh, some articles tell you that uh, the way to do it is to uh, use some software on there uh, to wipe the data and then uh, take it out of your computer and then drill holes in it. Uh, so and we've heard this and seen this on hacker shows and whatnot. They drill holes in their hard drive to make them uh, the data unrecoverable and it sounds like a pretty good method now this particular article talks about a software called uh, active kill disk uh, and they have a free version it makes it look all nice neat and clean but of course uh, sometimes the free version uh, isn't that hot so uh, let's look here and they compare them and uh, the freeware version doesn't really do much at all. Uh, the only thing that it does is uh, supports the only uh, one pass zeros erase method, which is not that secure. Uh, it might be enough uh, if you're just um, gonna sell it at a garage sale or whatnot, but uh, if any um, motivated uh, adversary is uh, going to attempt to recover the data it'll be a trivial affair uh, so uh, their more uh, expensive program the professional uh, supports a little more uh, more standards for erasing data 24 international standards and then has some additional features for uh, multiple drives right and then the ultimate version uh, which is more cost the ultimate version which costs more uh, supports more standards and allows you uh, multiple races and whatnot so uh, nothing's really free in this world this uh, this free version is okay but not really uh, yeah. uh, okay so and then a different article that I read talked about whether even drilling uh, through the hard drive was enough so they have this little uh, diagram here. It's not very uh, professional looking, but it's basically just a picture of a hard drive and they've drilled two holes in it, right? Uh, and most of the guides for drilling hard drives will tell you to make one hole in the platter and another in the uh, controller. Um, but they mention here that, uh, as you can see, there's just two holes in the, in the uh, platters and there's data on the other areas of the platter. So drilling is not really uh, a foolproof method. Uh, and there are some services out there that will actually uh, shred the entire drive for you. And uh, there's this issue of uh, bad sectors, remapped sectors. 
most of the software solutions don't even, uh, they just skip over bad sectors. So the idea is that you may even be able to, there may be some data on the bad sectors that can be recovered by forensic experts. So, and then uh, this article uh, talks about uh, this software called DBAN, uh, which is over here. Um, and it looks pretty good, has some decent reviews but uh, it's, it's a get quote thing. So, I mean, you're gonna have to, uh, it's not just uh, buy and download, you're gonna have to get a quote. So I'm assuming that it's uh, not cheap or trivial to buy and use. A lot of these software solutions uh, have a per disk license uh, for destroying hard drives. So if you're in an uh, industrial or a work environment where you've got multiple hard drives, you're going to need to uh, spend uh, money uh, per drive to get it destroyed right with this type of software. And they're claiming, uh, some of the reviewers are claiming that, uh, you know, this will destroy all the data on the drive and it's uh, not recoverable at all. So, uh, yeah, you if you spend some money, then uh, you can get software that's going to completely destroy the drive. Um, most people would say just uh, drilling the drive should be enough uh, to discourage most people. You know, two or three drills. Um, now, uh, one of my favorite solutions uh, for erasing drives that you plan on using again is Parted Magic. Uh, now, Parted Magic is uh, it's software you have to buy, but it's very cheap. It's only, uh, I believe, $11.00. Yeah, I mean, it's very reasonable uh, software that you can buy and download. And it doesn't, even, it doesn't install on your computer, per se. Uh, you download it. Yeah, when you download it, uh, it downloads as a disk image that you can use to burn a disk. Or uh, you can use software to create yourself a live USB, uh, which is a bootable uh, USB. And uh, you install Parted Magic on your USB drive and then boot from it. And it runs uh, a version of Linux, which has quite a few features. I think they have at the beginning. You can partition, you can clone, you can uh, try to rescue data, and you can disk erase. And uh, they have some secure erase features that are really good for sort of resetting a drive to factory condition. So if uh, you just want to erase your data and uh, reuse the drive, I would highly recommend Parted Magic. I've been using it for quite a while. Okay, so we talked about some of the other scenarios where we are planning on maybe reusing the drive and do software data wipes. Uh, and then now I'm gonna cover the scenario where uh, we just wanna throw the drive away and we wanna make sure that the data is unretrievable, irretrievable, uh, completely destroyed, however you want to put it. So we're going to do the drill option. So I've uh, got my drill here and the hard drive. Got some new uh, drill bits here. So I'm just going to choose a fairly large drill bit. It doesn't have to be uh, heavy duty, but just enough so that it can go all the way through the drive. So we're gonna take it out to the workshop. It's a little bit dark and scary, but we're gonna use the vice grip and to hold it steady. And I'm gonna be using the protective goggles. So if you're going to do this, please make sure that you take all the safety precautions. Now we're gonna wanna drill through the drive, uh, through the spindle, which is gonna be right about here. And we could do more than one. And then we also want to make sure that we get the controller, which is this guy back here. So if you want to follow me to the next scene, we're going to go ahead and uh, drill this drive. Okay, so here we are outside the storeroom. It's a bit dark and scary, but uh, we're going to work past our fears.
So I'm going to put on the protective goggles and put away my keys. And we're going to start with uh, the top. All right, so make sure it's in there good. So I decided to try a different drill bit. I'm not a hardware guy, but I'm gonna try one that appears to be a bit sharper. See how that does. Put it all the way to 10. Okay, so after uh, much trying and uh, drilling, uh, I had a, a friend come over and help me. Uh, basically, he told me that the drill that I had uh, was a little bit, uh, just wasn't up to the task. Uh, he told me, you know, he had a drill that had multiple speeds. It said that when you're drilling through something like a hard drive, that uh, you need uh, a good drill uh, that can uh, multiple speed, and you want it on the high speed. And he even used a, like a little bit better of a drill bit than what I was using. Uh, so uh, if you want to try this, you know, uh, and you're not a handyman, maybe you should ask a friend. Uh, but uh, so this is it. So we got the drive, uh, we got the hole all the way through. You can see uh, it goes all the way through, <laughs> all right? And uh, there's a couple of holes here. And then also I made sure that uh, I went through the, uh, the back, the controller part here, this, uh, this chipboard here. So now we've got this drive completely uh, destroyed. Now, uh, some people, uh, I, I noticed there were a few articles that talked about even the drilling isn't going to destroy the hard drive, uh, but uh, we just want to destroy our, uh, the data on our hard drive so that the casual person isn't going to discover any of our personal information. Uh, if uh, the NSA or the FBI is interested in my hard drive, uh, you know, and they were willing to spend the time and the money to recover the data in a clean room, uh, they're perfectly within their rights to do that. But uh, the casual person that finds this hard drive in the trash and thinks and decides to take it home and try to use it uh, is going to be thwarted. And uh, so uh, it's just uh, another fail safe. It's just another fail safe for uh, destroying your data on your hard drive. Uh, and if you want to be super secure about it, uh, don't throw it in your own trash, you know. If uh, someone is going through your trash uh, and they know it's you, it's, in, it's uh, on your property, they've seen you throw it away, then uh, if they do recover the data, they can tie it to you. If you take this hard drive and throw it in a random dumpster somewhere, uh, you know, clean of fingerprints, no one can really link it to you. Uh, and they're not going to, uh, if they're after your information, uh, there, there's very few people going through uh, dumpsters and looking at random hard drives to try to recover data. So uh, that's it. Uh, dr drill your holes, throw it somewhere not uh, tied to you, and you're not going to have to worry about the data on this hard drive being discovered and used. All right, so that's it. Uh, if uh, you haven't done so already, I invite you to join my uh, live Q&As uh, that uh, we do every Friday. Uh, we call it the uh, live Q&A from LA, and it's at 6 o'clock every Friday uh, at Pacific Standard Time. Uh, I, enjoy <clears throat> I invite you to join me and Crypto Daughter, and uh, we'll field your questions and just generally talk about cryptocurrency and cryptography in, gen in general. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. And when you do so, there's a little bell there that will uh, turn on notifications so that you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope you have a great day.